Hey buddy, so today we're going to be developing a game called Catch the Pie on Go.org. It's a very simple game and very fun to play. So let me show the game we're going to do. So this is the game. You have to move the bird to catch the pie. But if you catch the fire, uh, you lose the point. So this game we're going to be making today. So I'll show you how it works and how the code I did it. So I did this in Play Lab. So these are all code uh, I did to do my game. So when run, set point to zero. And set this is how. So let's do it in the code to RG now. Now go here create and go to view all projects we're, now we are going to do this game in play lab uh, where is it mm, yeah the first one is the play lab click on the play lab on code.org see we have the wind gun here wind gun is anywhere it can be kept anywhere you can keep it here here but you can't delete this because it's very important in the coding so what we have done is set points to zero okay lp created variable now we're going to create a variable called score is how you create a variable let's go to you go to math and bring this block called uh, the empty block now it's one make it zero after that set rainbow background so go to action and you have this set cape now make this set rainbow background yeah here it's there set rainbow background then what we need to do set actor 3 to wizard image set actor 3 i'm going to give it that 3 to uh wizard now to this let's make it wizard yeah wizard image then move actor 3 to 200 over 20 mm. yeah we just plug move back to 3 200 over 20 uh, not for the 20 now i'll just show you see the width is here is standing here okay now set active 3 size to 0 0.5 so it's very big the size of this let's set the active 3 size to 0 0.5 after that we need to set active 1 size to 0 0.5 i forgot to tell we have to make a bird set after this wizard set actor 2 which i have set set actor 1 sorry a bird yeah you can find it here a bird okay we have kept it now i just copy paste this block it actor once size to 0 0.5 okay now let's check it out yeah see the witch is here and the bird is there no no wizard is there then move actor to the vengeance right when actor one touches the red fireball okay now uh events uh is this you'll find it in here when actor one touches the red fireball mm, 
yeah red fireball what we need to do set points to okay now we create a variable for that right set just a minute set points to yeah we can end as not scope point create for the variable set points to now go to map and you bring this block here points minus the score one now we have to go to variable and put this points block and put minus uh just a minute this minus one okay let's delete this block we don't need it for oh, it's not deleted. You can drag and drop it here. Okay, now play loose point sound. Now again, go to that the action. Play loose point sound. Loose point sound. See, we are gonna get it. Use point sound. Show title sc screen score point. So go here game and score. Now we need to put the variable point into the second one. And here we should put score. I'll write all this in uh, capital. Score. Then what am I doing it when? Up arrow is pressed. Move actor one up twenty pixels. Now get let's go to event. When up arrow is pressed, move actor one. I'm just copy paste this block because I can't bring it again. And you can find it here only when you go to actions. After that, we need to bring a block called repeat forever block. And go to loops and you'll find this block repeat forever block. Now what we are doing when actor 3 shows the pie, move down, wait for 0 0.5 seconds. Like this only we are doing it for three times. Three, four times I'm not sure. And um, the, like we are putting the code three, four times. But this repeat forever block will continuously repeat it. See, it will not stop. See the wizard is doing the, okay, the pie and the fire ball. And okay, I'm like, uh, just copy paste this block. Move actor 3 up. Now we are bringing a mind map, a random integer block. Uh, minus 200, 200, minus 200, 200. Move actor 3, move actor 2 up left. Okay. Now what we can do is let's copy this block. You can see. Now, how, how, how do we get this block? You go to action. You will find here throw, actor, three throws, basketball. Now you can put pie. See, you can find it now down. See, you can do like that. And wait for 0 0.5 seconds. This also I'll copy. 0 0.5 seconds okay like this only we now up this is actually down now we need to write the code for up i will copy paste this block only now this is up this is this is down this is up Now this one red fire when actor three throws the red fireball up 
wait for zero point now this is pi now red fireball this also i told you know you can get the block in actions zero red fireball up wait for zero point five seconds i'll copy this wait for zero point five seconds active three toes red fireball now a minute move active three up now we are going to match and find this random integer block minus 200 to 200 pixels active this is also up down in the description below I will, I will I'll share the code that you can uh, look at it and do it if you're confused with the integers and all and this also I'll copy this and paste it here in this move power whatever this lot of copy paste don't worry I'll be I'll send you in the description below so we have done the move forever now let's do when left arrow is press move after one left 200 pixels so this will go to events and find when up arrow like that when up arrow is press i want move after one to left 200 pixels but this also you'll find in action see you can put it here move after one up how many pixels 20 pixels Like this only you can do. I'm gonna copy paste this block. Oh, sorry. This left. Yeah, because we now this also we're not moving the bird top, only bottom left, right, like that. Move up after one left, okay. Now when right arrow and copy paste this, you can find it. This is an event. In just a minute. Never mind. I'm doing this. We can't copy the events block, right? And I have turn right and I we can copy this block. Oh we got it. I didn't mean it that we had this. It's okay. Now we need to write the code when down arrow is pressed. See we got here when down arrow is pressed more after one. down okay this is the game we made today that is bird catching game now i'll show you in the big screen like how i'll play you and show you saying saving i'll copy the link when you do the app you can test it like this See, I can move the bird and let me catch this. See, the score is increasing. Oh, shit. Okay. The game is perfectly working fine. And thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thank you.